Waves are repeating in periodic disturbances of a medium that cause particles to vibrate back and forth about a fixed position. Five quantities, frequency, period, wavelength and amplitude, and speed describe either the particle's motion or the resulting wave pattern. As the particles vibrate, a pattern is established along the medium. The wavelength is the length of the repeating pattern. For this diagram, the horizontal distance from one crest to the next adjacent crest is one wavelength, and the distance from one crest to the next adjacent trough is a half of a wavelength. Suppose these are water waves and there's two boats bobbing up and down. When one is at a crest, the other is at a trough, and there are two crests between them. They're 35 meters apart. You can use the horizontal distance between boats to determine the wavelength. Write an equation, like this one, and solve for lambda. Amplitude is the height of the wave pattern relative to the rest or equilibrium position. A particle vibrates as far below the rest position as it does above it. Be sure to measure amplitude as the vertical distance from rest up to the high point or down to the low point, and not as the distance from high point to low point. Frequency refers to how often the particles complete vibrational cycles. It is the number of vibrations or cycles per time. If this information is known, then you can calculate the frequency by dividing the number of cycles by the time. The units are cycles per second or hertz. Period refers to how much time it takes a particle to complete a vibrational cycle. It is the time per cycle. If you know the number of cycles in a specified amount of time, then you can calculate the period by dividing the time by the number of cycles. Period and frequency are reciprocals of one another, so if you know one, you can calculate the other using one of these two equations. The speed of a wave refers to how fast it moves. It is the distance a crest travels per unit of time. Speed can be calculated from knowledge of the frequency and the wavelength using the equation V equal F times lambda. I'm Mr. H, letting you know that you got this.